Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a mixture of a haul for you. I recently went to Vegas for a show with the, my company that I'm working for and I picked up a couple of free goodies. The show is called Cosmoprof. It is like a trade show for beauty companies and the company I work for is Intrinsic so I'll link our website down below. But um, I also have Ipsy in here and then I stopped by Sephora. So I'm first going to show you my Ipsy bag for July. This one is Summer Lovin'. It looks like this on the card. And then the bag is super cute, but I feel like it's a lot smaller than what I'm used to. I have opened this already. I just couldn't wait this month. But let's first look at what I got. So the first thing I have here is from the company Read My Lips. This or Tease. No, Tease Cosmetics. It's called Read My Lips Lipstick. And this says it's a eight hour long lasting lipstick, unique satin matte finish, highly pigmented coverage. And the color I have here is called Killing Me Softly. So the packaging is super cute. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a nice it's actually a skull design. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's pretty cool. Um, I really do like this. I've used it once. That's what kind of the lipstick looks like. It's almost like a lip balm, but it's very, very pigmented. So that's the color right there. And again, it's killing me softly. I'm super excited to continue to try and use this. The next thing they got is an Evanai Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. Cleansing without water absorbs excessive oil and keeps hair fresh longer for all hair types. I have not tried out this product yet. I do like trying out new dry shampoos. So yeah, that's the Evan Eye. The next thing I have here is something I wasn't really excited for. This is the City Color HD Loose Powder and this is a cruelty free company but I just don't go for loose powders at all. I hate them. They're messy and I don't like them. Um, so I'll probably pass that on. The next thing, this is something I'm really excited about. I looked at this yesterday. This is from Ofra. It's eyeshadow and highlighter in the color Bliss. I don't know if you can see that. But this is gorgeous. I really want a Z palette so I can put this in there. But that's the color right there. Watch is beautiful. It feels very satiny. Looks like that on my middle finger. And then swatch. That's it swatched right there. It is just simply gorgeous. I love that color. It would be great for an eyeshadow color or lightly as a highlighter. But it is very bright and pigmented so I'd be careful using it just on a whim. On your cheekbones. The last thing I got from Ipsy this month is this is a, from Vasanti. This is a Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenating Exfoliating Cleanser. Looks like this. And it dramatically improves your skin's texture to reveal softer, brighter, younger looking skin. And I have not tried this yet. Let's see. Um, it has a nice herbal scent. It is very, i put some of it right here, it's very exfoliating. There's a lot of little, it almost feels like sand grit that will really get that dead skin off your face. So I'll definitely try this out and tell you about it either in a favorites empties or something like that. So that was my Ipsy bag. I really love what I got this month from Ipsy. Now I'll just show you the couple things I got from Sephora recently. My birthday is in a couple days. It's July 23rd. So I picked up my birthday gift from NARS. It's the two, what are these called? Um, lip pen pencils, velvet matte lip pencils. One I'm wearing today, this is in the color, I don't know what this color is called. Rikugian? Rikugian. And this is just a nice pink matte pencil. It's right there. 
I really like this. These feel super light on your lips. They have a nice pigmentation to it. They're not super glossy or anything like that. They are matte lip pencils, and I do like it. And then this other one is called Cruella. This is a dark red color. And this is a very rich red color right there. So I'm excited to have these and try out some of the NARS pencils. I definitely have gotten really into lip pencils lately this year. And then I went on a splurge and got the Marc Jacobs Nail Polish or Enamored High Shine Lacquer in Petra. Looks like this. It is gorgeous, guys. I had this on in Vegas, and it's beautiful. So the top pops off like that and then it screws off. This kind of reminds me of um, like a Butter London nail polish, how the top is. But this is amazing formula. I could do this in one coat. It was just a gorgeous, gorgeous color that I have not seen before. It is a glitter nail polish, but it's not like the glitter that takes forever to come off your lips. This was beautiful. Loved it. Definitely recommend trying out these nail polishes and definitely this color since you don't see it a lot as often in the market. So to go for the show at Cosmoprof, I had a couple people pick me some stuff up. I have these two wet brushes or wet brush pro. This is like a travel size and a regular brush. Um, I have tried these out. As you can see there's like hair on them. But um, I really do like them for when your hair is wet or damp. It is a great hair brush for that. And then uh, I have a couple nail polishes. This I can't remember what the brand was. I think it's like Noxie or Dixon. I can't remember. But this is a nail buffer. And then I have a couple new nail polishes that a company let me try out. I'm currently wearing one on my nails today, but they are chipping now. I put them on Wednesday. It's now Sunday. So these are the China Glaze Everglaze Extended Wear Durable Nail Polishes. Let's see. Now these are supposed to be one coat nail polishes. I did put one coat on my nails, but I noticed that I could still see the white part underneath the color so I would definitely recommend putting two coats on even though they're marketed as one. The first color that I have on my nails today is Adrenaline Rush. It's just a very vibrant pink color. Again, I'm wearing it on my nails today but it is chipping. Um, this was a really nice color. It's great for the summer. I definitely love this on the toes. The next one I have is called Orange You Obsessed. So it's just a bright neon orange kind of color. And then they also gave me this Everglaze Active Top Coat. Um, I definitely love this top coat. It did a really good job at keeping my nail polish and it just felt smoother. So that's the Everglaze Top Coat. And then they also gave me two China Glaze nail polishes to try out. One is, oh I thought they had one more. No. One is China Glaze and Four Leaf Clover. This is one of the popular ones that everyone kind of gets on YouTube. And then they have this bright neon yellow called Celtic Sun. So it looks like that. So I'm really excited to ha have and try out these nail polishes. They're great colors for the summer with the vibrancy and just high pigmentation color on them. And then, um, I also helped out a girl at Pharmagel. I haven't heard of this company before, but I was helping her out, so she gave me a little sample of her company. Um, so again, this is Pharmagel Pharmaceutically Grade Anti-Aging Skin Care. Anti-aging products are good for anyone. You do not have to have wrinkles to start preventing yourself for wrinkles or aging. So it comes with a Hydro Cleanse, which um, exceptionally mild gel cleanser contains aloe vera and extracts of seaweed, algae, and spirulina. Moisturizes, protects, vitalizes, revitalizes all skin types. Water is principal, especially good for extra sensitive skin. So that is this Hydro Cleanse right here. The next one is an enzyme, nope, facial scrub. This is the Enzyme Excel facial scrub. It's gentle exfoliating derma scrub contains all natural polishing grains from the papaya plant, sloughs off dried dulling skin cells, 
refines pores and improves skin tones, leaves skin with a finer, smoother texture. And then I, they also gave me a facial toner and an intense age-defying face and body firming moisturizer. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. I want to finish off the current skincare line that I am using and then I will try this out and probably do a video on these products and then what I think of them. So that is everything I picked up with Ipsy and stopping by Vegas this year. Be sure to stay tuned. I probably will have a birthday haul coming soon with different things I'll pick up here and there over the next week. And let me know if you've tried out these products and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.